Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to do an XFCE customization and after a long long time I'm doing this and some of you guys had requested an XFCE customization since the last video is very old. Anyway, let's start with this. Basically, I am going to port one of my GTK themes which you guys loved a lot into this XFCE but there are certain things that I'm going to show you along with that that is the use of compass and more which needs to be covered in this video. So I'm creating a separate one for that. First, open the terminal. We need to install certain packages. Uh, just search for, okay, let me just make this bigger for you to understand, whoops. So apt search compass, I keep forgetting the settings editor name, in the settings page of com compass. And here we have this, we need this package. So just select it right click and copy now sudo apt install compiz and that's all for now i guess continue with the installation now after it is done just open firefox to install some themes there we have firefox so just search for um, cold metal gtk download download that's it the download is done that's all now we need an icon pack for uh, it to complete Let's go for node icons. This one will do. Let's go for the dark version. That's it. Now first, let us install the icons. Open this, head over to the home directory and create a new folder named dot icons. Control H dot icons. Extract this inside dot icons. Done. Now for applying this theme, it is quite simple. Open the settings page, head over to appearance and go to icons. Here we have the Zafiro node black. There you go. See the icons have changed to the node version of the application. Next, let us do more edits inside this. Let's get rid of this. We need to move the panel and make it vertical. Done. Now let's reopen the web browser. Now the Firefox that is installed here is actually a snap and it won't respond well to the theme that we are going to install. So we need to change it to the apt version of the Firefox, which can be done from a very good website, which I recently noticed. Uh, uh, documenting about this you just need to search for um, Firefox apt here we have it and these are the things that we, we are going to need so let's open mousepad and copy them over there first and second that's all what we need now let's get rid of this and open an instance of terminal sudo snap remove Firefox and let it do the job. Now you need to wait for a few seconds for Firefox to remove and uh, while it completes we can do some other works with compass settings. Let's open the settings manager. Okay first of all let us enable the window decoration. We are going to need that. Enable snapping windows, move windows and resizing of the windows. Also let us enable the animations. Great I guess that's all for now. Now inside animations we need to do some more editing and change some of these values. There we have the open animation. Mm, okay, it's done. Let's add this repository now. Press enter to continue. Here we have it set as glide2. Let us change it to, okay, let's keep it as uh, glide2 and or we can do a zoom over here and increase the timing to around like 300. Close. And let's get rid of these or oh, you can also keep them um, it's better to see it in action so now it's time that we replace uh, compass so compass replace okay before that let's complete one by one let's do this part done now sudo apt install firefox that will install the apt version of the firefox let's open another terminal and do this work that is compass replace and this is how it will look like so if you open applications it will have this animation if you close it it has a very simple close animation but uh, you can also change that close animation to something else for example it's set to glide here you can change the glide to another zoom and close this you can change the duration of the zoom to again 300 okay done so open this close done so that works now if you minimize it also has a separate animation for minimize and maximize so let let us make that consistent. Uh, you can change the zoom animation. It is quite nice at 220. Let us change this to zoom and set the duration to, okay, let's keep it at 300 and see how it works. 
or you can change this to glide glide to glide to done great now let's change the duration to 500 so this is how it will look like now if you feel that this animation is a little bit slow you can change it to 300 but i do like this smoothness of the animation that is happening over here it's quite pleasing to see that even inside xfce which is very much devoid of animations now there are also other animations inside shade and focus i guess you can change the focus animation to something else but i find it very distracting and i won't recommend you for example this is wave and if you change the focus to some other page it will have this waving thing going on you can go for dodge which will like dodge and bring it to the front but i guess it's very distracting and it's better to keep it at none that's all that is our filter work done i mean the animation work done over there now for the window decoration you can see that it is using the gdk window decorator now um for changing this first we need to install the theme so let's close these applications inside let's keep this minimized because it's helping us to run that don't save for applying the theme we are not going to put this at the position wherever we had kept it uh, we need to open thuna as root then head over to file system the usr folder here we have share i guess we have the themes folder inside this now this is what we need open another instance of thuna head over to home directory inside zubuntu inside downloads here we have cold metal just drag and drop this folder inside that's it done now we are going to need this file name so so i've copied that now the next part we need to do through g settings so g settings set org dot gnome dot desktop dot wm dot preferences theme as this one now here are spaces so in order to uh, enable that system enable the system to under that, understand the spaces we need to put some escape sequences there and that should work perfectly fine there we go we have changed it now it's appearing white because the default system theme is still running that uh, white version we need to also change the default system theme from the settings page here uh, head over to appearance here we have gold metal no logo that's it now it changes to the dark edition but there is another problem we don't have the minimize and maximize buttons available here now if you think that uh, writing in the terminal will be a bit difficult for you you can also do one thing just go here and sudo apt install that is deconf editor and do the changes from there itself so it will take a few moments just to install deconf uh, editor you can go for deconf editor from here itself that's it here you can see it's inside org then you go to gnome and desktop wm preferences here we have a parameter named theme and see it is using cold metal no logo so you can just paste the name over here and it will be applying the theme but there are inconsistencies in this theme uh, because you can see that there is a border over here but the border is not available here in, inside the compass so there is some dis inconsistency in this theming but I guess that can be solved by removing the border that is available here by changing that theme, changing the CSS files of the theme. Now let's open the deconf editor again. Let's get back to here. Now you can also change the settings inside org, gnome. And there we have wm, desktop slash wm, preferences and let's go for button layout. So let's use this. So we are going to have app menu minimize maximize and close done and here you can see that the minimize maximize and close three of them are now available great now if you open the web browser you will see that it has okay close this let's open firefox if you open firefox you will see that it has changed its theme according to the one that you are currently using so it looks great very much consistent now the final step is to install a wallpaper is to apply a wallpaper and i searched for the wallpaper i had used previously for my space node theme but i could not find it due to some reason and the download option is not available there now even if i go for other downloads for from github itself it's not downloading i guess that is a problem happening there 
so I need to get the file from some other source okay I have downloaded the wallpaper and it's available inside a zip file so I'm going to put the link in the description you can download from there if it is available but I don't know it's not working for me from the official side uh, I had downloaded previously so here we have it set as wallpaper and this is how it will look like now we are also going to need a con key and it's also available inside the folder that I downloaded there and I'm going to put the links in the description as always so you can get it from there itself head over to download that is the altf and for installing this just copy head over to the home directory dot config create a new folder named as con key and paste the folder here done now there are some fonts inside this you will find for example this one just install the fonts one after the other that's it and it also needs some dependencies to be installed so sudo or sudo apt install gq conkey curl and lua 5.4 yes continue with the installation that's it done now open the terminal here and make sure that the files are set to as executable okay so inside script done dot slash start dot and here is it done I don't know why it is not working there okay put the icons to the side let's do some edits here so the problem that I was facing with the con key is that whenever I clicked on the desktop after running the con key that con key would just disappear from there so what I did is that I just changed some of the codes inside the conf configuration file and I changed the window type from desktop to dock and saved it that pretty much solved all the problems that were related to the disappearance of conkey so i was trying to solve this problem with uh, the borders that are happening here we can do a bit of work around here using the shadows option that is available now basically i did it for active shadows let me just show you the same thing for inactive shadows so we are selecting this color select and i'm just going to copy these values inside this place so it doesn't work perfectly but at least up to some extent it works this should be zero and this one minus one that's it but the problem that happens with that is it also applies to the one that is up here so that is another problem but i guess um, i guess we can reduce this to like shadow radius 0.1 but in that case um, only the sides are covered okay let's do that side covering thing for inactive shadows because that solves the problem and for active shadows it's not much noticeable here so that's all for this video this gives us the final look for our design and if you notice that i have changed the location of the panel from the left side to the bottom part this has a reason first of all it is obviously for removing the problem that we have for covering the con key a part of the con key gets covered and it doesn't look nice when this panel is present at the left side and also opening the menu from the bottom part of the panel just makes more sense and looks much better and is easier for me to reach at least. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.